Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. It is day six of our Disney Cruise Line Alaska vacation, and today is Ketchikan Day. Now, as you guys can see, we are not in Ketchikan. We are still moving. We are actually not going to be arriving into Ketchikan until about 11 a.m. And the all aboard time is actually at 7.45. So we have quite a long day ahead of us in Ketchikan. As I said in yesterday's video, I have absolutely no plans for Ketchikan. I have no excursions booked or anything like that. So I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. I mean, more than likely, we're gonna still get off the boat and we're still going to walk around the town and explore just a little bit. It's gonna be a very interesting day guys. Let's go ahead and head downstairs to Triton's and get some breakfast. I just want to show you guys the view that I woke up to this morning. Current time is about 8 30 a.m. in the morning and the temperature outside a nice 70 degrees. It is actually pretty warm. I am wearing a t-shirt and shorts today. Quite a difference from a few days ago when we were at Dawes Glacier and I was freezing my butt off. Time for breakfast at Triton's. A nice empty atrium as well. Love to see it. It is a gorgeous morning. One little detail that I never noticed about Triton's is our table numbers has a little outline of Ariel on it. Okay, so here is a quick look at the menu for breakfast here at Triton's. I am not going to name off every single thing because there is a lot. So you guys are more than happy to pause the video at any time and take a closer look at any of the menu items. Just so you guys can get a feel for what's on hand this morning. All right, our mains have arrived. I got the eggs benedict with two hash browns. And I also got an order of French toast. Absolutely wonderful breakfast as always down here in the main dining room. Now it is time to head back up to the room, do a little bit of relaxing until we dock and catch a can. We were gone at breakfast for maybe an hour and our room host already managed to turn down our room for the day. Well, not really turn it down. It was the midday service, but you guys know what I mean. It's so nice to come back to a nice clean room. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to catch a can. We haven't docked yet. We're not scheduled to dock for about another hour or so. It's going on 10 o'clock right now, but this is so nice. A nice cute little town. In all honesty, this town looks a little bit more adorable than Juno. Not that I have anything wrong with Juno. Juno was still really beautiful, but this is a cute little town. I love it. And then you got the snow-capped mountains over there. And, of course, the temperature. It's not bad at all. It's about 70 degrees right now. Nice little breeze. It is not hot. Not too cold. It's just perfect. <laughs> I see a little Moose Lodge over there. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. It says Moose Lodge, and I just find it amusing. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, come on. There you go, look at that, Moose Lodge. <laughs> That's cute. Wow, just look at these different buildings. This is nuts, guys. I'm falling in love with Alaska. I am not even gonna lie to you. I am falling in love. It looks like we may be getting ready to dock right here. Wouldn't surprise me because there is another cruise ship here. The um, Silver Sky, I believe it is. It's called the Silver Muse, but I don't know what the company is. But anyways, uh, yeah, we have an Alaskan coach bus over there for tours. We have a Harley Davidson over here as well, oddly enough. We have um, a sign here that says totems, gifts, curios. I thought that said churros for a second. Good lord, I'm fat. <laughs> this looks awesome. Yeah, we are slowly getting closer. This is beautiful. You know, it's little towns like this that I have only seen in movies and like rom-coms, you know? I have only ever seen this stuff in movies. And I just, I'm genuinely curious what it would be like to live here. Like, do people get bored here? Like, I can't imagine there being too, too much to do. I mean, obviously uh, fishing and, you know, having a boat is a definite must, I assume. But like, how do you guys live here without that much to do like let me know down in the comment section below if you live in a town like this that's surrounded by forests and whatnot like how do you how do you guys entertain yourself because i'm so used to always having something to do like if i'm bored i can always just hop in my car and go to a theme park or go to the mall or or or, or, or something but what do you guys 
what, what do you guys do here? I'm genuinely curious because this place is so nice and like I'd like to spend some time and and live in a place like this for a while just to see what it's like for myself. Finally off the ship and on Ketchikan soil. And with that, we are officially in Ketchikan. So here's what I really notice about these port towns here in Alaska where immediately as we get off the ship, it's really nothing but gift shops and jewelry stores. A lot of really touristy stuff. You'll have your discovery centers and your information centers with with some more you know cultural information and nature information on the port of call that you're in but other than that they're all pretty much the same thing if you're really wanting to experience something different in Alaska I highly recommend that you take some excursions and get off the ship and go do a tour somewhere rather than just exploring the towns because to me they all kind of have the same gift shops so yeah I know the excursions are a bit more on the expensive side especially on these Alaskan cruises but if you're going on an Alaskan cruise that's really the only way to explore Alaska. One thing that I thought was really cute and interesting is that in each of the three ports of call that we had here in Alaska there is a dedicated Christmas store with little goodies and knickknacks that are all Christmas themed for Alaska and I just thought that that was really cool so we're just kind of taking a stroll around here and they even sell like other non Christmassy type t-shirts and other souvenirs that you can get as well and right next door to the Christmas store there's another more generic outlet store a lot of other little knickknacks there is definitely a much bigger variety of gifts at this outlet store than I've seen at any other store. So over here on the far end of the outlet store, there's a candy corner and they sell fudge over here and we just sampled some and oh my God, everything we had tried was super good. They're running a promo right now, $5 a square, buy four squares, get two free, we're doing that. So we are definitely getting some fudge and bringing it back on board. It was all so good. Wow, take a look at that seaplane. They land like right on the opposite side of the ship, which is absolutely insane. But man, it is such a gorgeous day. I have absolutely zero complaints. Look at the ship, guys. It's beautiful. It's kind of interesting to get off the ship and you look out in the water and all these little white dots that you're seeing, I believe those are all jellyfish. They look like jellyfish. I know it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but they look like jellyfish. We saw a big red one earlier as we were getting off and I didn't film it. Time to head back on the ship just to have a little bit of lunch before heading back off again. I love that no matter what, at all ports of call, you get back on the ship, they have hot chocolate, water, and cookies waiting for you. It is nice and warm out here. Even the lifeguards are out in their t-shirt and shorts. It is a perfect pool day with the mountains in the background too. What a contrast. <sighs> just got done having lunch at Cabana's. It was really good. It was really, really tasty. I didn't film any of it. I was just with my family. Wanted to put the camera down for just a little bit. So now we're gonna go ahead, head back to the room for just a little bit. I have about an hour before I need to head on out to my excursion, which by the way, I didn't tell you guys about that. Let me go ahead and get back to the room and I'll tell you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so I made it back to the room for a little bit just to kind of relax before I head on out. So. The excursion that I booked, very last minute, like literally this morning, um, is the Lumberjack show that is enhanced with Disney characters. So here in Ketchikan, they have a Lumberjack show that anybody can go and see if you're on a cruise ship or even locals for that matter, you can go and purchase tickets. However, there is a version of the show that is exclusive to Disney Cruise Line passengers that includes Disney characters thrown into the mix. So I figured that that would be a really cool thing to go see and to show to you guys in case you are interested in going to do that excursion or, 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 or seeing that show. And I, I wouldn't even call it an excursion because I can literally see the arena right now. It is like literally right across the street from the ship. So they say that you're not actually meeting anywhere on the ship. You're just meeting in front of the arena. So we meet there at 3.30. It's currently 3 o'clock right now. And the show starts at 4. So I'm excited to head on out there. Not really an excursion like I said. But I figured it was something that's Disney exclusive. That you guys would be very much so interested in seeing. And getting a quick review of. It is $50. So the reason why I justified paying that is because our Dawes Glacier excursion got cancelled and that was 270 or 60 dollars so with that money that i saved might as well put a 50 you know towards towards this show and give me something legit to do here in catch can so we're gonna go ahead and relax for a couple more minutes before making our way downstairs and i think i will see you guys once i actually get to the arena no characters 
Nice empty atrium though, it's very pretty. Back on out to catch a can we go. So in case you guys are getting off the ship and doing the lumberjack show and you are not sure where to go, we do have a lovely lumberjack over here with a sign that says lumberjack show and he will be more than happy to direct you in this direction. Let's go ahead and head on over. So you're gonna keep walking straight past the Christmas in Alaska store. You're gonna keep on walking down. You have a stop sign over here in Spectrum Jewelry. You're gonna go ahead, and make a right. And as soon as you make a right, you can't miss it. The Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. In case you guys are looking for further context, we have the Alaska Fish House right next door. Walking on up to the gift shop, you can see right over here, the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. The show times for today, 11.45, 2.15, and the four o'clock one is exclusive to Disney. So you guys are gonna make a single file line and walk all the way around to the back of the building. You're gonna walk inside and you're gonna check in. You're gonna sit down in this little holding area. Looks like it is time to head on into the arena. Here is a list of different cold drinks, hot drinks, and other snacks that you can purchase prior to entering the arena in case you guys are curious. Well, I always said I wanted to see a bear on this trip. <laughs> they have a decent sized arena here. Not bad at all. You can hold quite a few people. That's so nice. They have welcome signs with Disney Cruise Line on it. That right there is a bald eagle. You can see the white of its head and the white of its tail feathers. Before the show starts, they have a fun little opportunity for guests of all ages to try and use the slingshot here in the middle to try and hit that target. Either that target or the Mickey target. They said target, so I'm assuming it's the target in the middle. But that's still really fun that people get the opportunity to do that. Welcome to the game! I'm here to get things started. Now, you're going to be playing some fun games that me and my friends came up with. <laughs> but before we make it official, let's all spread out and warm up. Just follow me, and here we go!
horse in smell. Now we got Papa Ryan's over here for Dawson Creek, so let's hear it for him. <laughs> oh man, you remind me of all these lumberjacks. Now those pros for points. So Scoop Mill is up first. Let's hear it for Seth. Multi-talented gentleman here, Jake. Oh, Kyle has some too. There you go. Now, those are chainmail shin guards and chainmail socks. On my mark, one, two, go! Now, you know what happens the louder you cheer, ladies and gentlemen. ladies and gentlemen, the perfect chainsaw for the homeowner. One, two, go! Oh, I love the little balls on the butt balls now. Crossing that rail pond. I think that's one of those big pie balls. It's a close cool one so far. Ready to 
see him climb. Yeah. Wonderful on my mark. One, two, go. That's awesome. You get a picture opportunity with all the lumberjacks afterwards. And of course, at the end of the show, you guys are able to take the exit exit or you are able to head into the gift shop. And that's going to do it from us here at the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. Let's go ahead and head back on board the ship where I will share my final thoughts. Who Nelly, that is a little bit of a lengthy line to get back on board. And it's just getting longer because all these folks are heading on back. I want you guys to check out this gnarly line to get back onto the ship. I'm already on part of the gangway and you can see the line stretches all the way the heck down. It just seems like uh, all the excursions came back at the same time or everybody in this line is first dinner seating and wanting to get in. Either way, that is nuts. The longest line I've seen the entire cruise. But if this is the longest line, then I'll take it. <laughs> all right, what is up everybody? It is future Adrian here. I am actually going to be putting this clip in earlier in the video just so that way I can go ahead and get my review and thoughts of the Great Alaskan Lumberjack show into this relevant portion of the video. Full transparency, we've left Ketchikan already and we are already sailing on out, but once again, my thoughts on the Great American Lumberjack show. The show overall was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed watching the Lumberjacks doing their thing. All of those different competitions, putting USA against Canada, it was a lot of fun. The audience participation was really great too. Now, what throws me off is the Disney portion of it. Now, that was literally not even five minutes of, 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 of Disney relevant stuff where Goofy came out and all he did was do some exercises with the kids. That was literally it. And um, this excursion was $50. And while I did really enjoy the show, I definitely think that it is worth checking out once. I don't know what the other shows earlier in the day looked like compared to this Disney specific show. So um, I definitely expected there to be a, a lot more Disney in this Disney specific show. And I gotta go back and look at the pricing because I can't remember if the original show without the Disney was cheaper. I can imagine it is. But um, but yeah, for the for the Disney aspect of this show, I wouldn't waste my, my my time going out of the way for the Disney one. If you can go see the earlier shows, if it is cheaper, I'll go ahead and put the prices down here for the earlier shows if I can still look it up. But I know that the Disney specific version was fifty dollars per adult, and it's cheaper for children. But yeah, overall the show was great. I loved it. It was a lot of fun, and I think the lumberjacks did a really great job, and it was very entertaining. And the competition was awesome. But the Disney aspect of it was very, very lackluster and very disappointing. So I personally would not see the show again. Um, I would go see it if I was here with Coda, which you know, more than likely we may go see it and then the next time we're here if we do come to visit next year. But I would not go out of my way for the Disney version of the show. I would probably go see the cheaper version of the show uh, that doesn't involve Disney. Worth seeing once, but definitely not seeing again. Walking past the beautifully themed French Quarter Lounge to get to Tiana's place. Walking on into Tiana's place for our Mardi Gras dinner night. It is Mardi Gras night here at Tiana's place and I just want to show you guys the table setup. We have some really nice cups over here and of course we have our lily pads with our nice bread bowls and we have a little toy um trombone trum 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 something another that's an instrument <laughs> and of course we have our mardi gras beads as well oh my gosh i'm excited for tonight all right let's go ahead and take a quick look at the menu for appetizers we have boudin sausage fritters 
Prince Naveen's Cajun charcuterie board. We have sauteed Gulf shrimp and grits and Nahi tuna tartare. For soups and salads, we have the New Orleans seafood pepper pie, Mama Odie's creamy tomato soup, an iceberg wedge, and pickled Gulf shrimp and satsuma orange salad. For our vegetarian entrees, we have Eudora's artichoke ravioli and honey roasted butternut squash. For our standard entrees, we have uh, Charlotte La Bouffe's Pacatini Pasta, Bucatini Pasta, I'm so sorry, I'm butchering these names, Cajun Spice Sea Bass, Roasted Creole Half Chicken, James's Roasted Pork Tenderloin, and Big Daddy's Roasted Prime Rib of Beef, I already know what I'm getting tonight. For our bread service, we have our herbed brioche, and here are your lighter note offerings in case you guys are curious. <laughs> nice and quickly today. Today I have the sauteed Gulf shrimp and grits with andouille sausage, green onions, and smoked barbecue sauce. And over here I have the boudin sausage fritters with minced pork and boudin sausage, breaded and fried, served with a bourbon aioli. Okay, so I just want to say, just finished up both of those entrees. Both the shrimp and grits and the boudin sausage, both amazing appetizers. They were so good. I highly recommend both of them. Just do yourself a favor, get both of those and you will not regret it. You'll thank me later. All right, the soup course has arrived. This is the New Orleans Seafood Pepper Pot. A Creole Bouillet base with calamari, shrimp, scallops, and flat leaf parsley. All right, just got done with the seafood pepper soup. That was really good. Very, very tasty. A little bit spicy too, so just be aware of that. But other than that, I have no complaints. That was tasty. All right, our entrees have arrived and rather quickly, I'm very impressed. We have the Cajun Spice Sea Bass on Shrimp Jambalaya with Crisp Fennel Salad and Romolade. And over here we have Big Daddy's Roasted Prime Rib of Beef with Double Baked Potato, Broccolini, Sweet Roasted Carrots, and a Red Wine Veal Sauce. I am very impressed with the dinner service tonight. It is 6.49 and we are done with our entrees and they're taking our dessert order. That is excellent. Can we just take a second to appreciate this man's beads? Goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. All right, guys, our desserts have arrived. We have Tiana's buttermilk beignets, dusted with powdered sugar and served with chocolate espresso dipping sauce. And up top over here, we have Mama Odie's white chocolate bread pudding with butterscotch sauce and vanilla ice cream. Both of these look absolutely amazing. And of course, my mom had to get her Mickey Premium ice cream bar. <laughs>
out of 10 dinner service here tonight at Sianna's place. Everything came out really quick and we had a very timely dinner. It was paced perfectly and we are out of here nice and early. Also, I think I have a brand new favorite Disney Cruise Line restaurant, Tiana's Place. Hands down, my new favorite. Yee it is excessively bright out here. But these are our final looks at Ketchikan before we head on out. <laughs> Ah, well, it looks like all guests are present and accounted for. They're actually removing the gangway about 15 minutes early. 7.30 right now, all aboard was at 7.45. It's a dad and his kid on, on their bikes at the edge of the pier. And the dad's taking pictures of the kid with the ship. That's adorable. Oh look, there's our family. Bye guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Do the horn again. The kid wants it. For the children. We are sailing, sailing away. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking our final looks at Alaska. Ketchikan was our very last port of call. And we are heading on back to Vancouver. Our vacation isn't over yet, and we still have a full day at sea tomorrow. But wow, Alaska, what, what an incredible place. I am beyond blessed, and I feel in, like I, I, I feel incredibly blessed, and I am incredibly thankful for this opportunity to be able to come and explore Alaska. And we're already making plans to come back next year. Like, it's definitely going to happen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're, we're coming back, and I'm bringing Coda because this was an absolutely incredible experience that, that needs to happen again. So sad. I'm so sad to see it go. Alaska is the most beautiful place I've ever visited, hands down. just missed it. I didn't think that they were going to blow the horns again. But that was awesome. You can hear it echoing off the mountains. That's insane. Is this a school over here? Because there are a lot of kids over there just yelling and hollering wanting them to... There you go! Look at that! They did it! They did it! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I caught that. That is awesome. They saw the kids and they blew the horn. What's crazy to me to think about is that I'm 99% sure the majority of those kids have never been to a Disney park in their entire lives. And here they are watching a Disney ship sail by their home. Like that is absolutely insane to think about. I really wish that more people had the opportunity to visit a Disney park and just to get a little bit more Disney in their lives because their exposure to Disney is probably very little compared to all of us who are on the ship. So, I mean, to hear them get so excited about seeing a Disney ship is absolutely insane. And it just warms my heart that, you know, just being able to see a Disney ship can bring them so much happiness. And especially hearing the horn, you know? It's not something everybody gets to hear. Well, what in the world is this? Huh, got some pixie dust. Let's go ahead and go inside and see what it is. Oh my gosh, guys. Take a look at this towel animal. It's a whale. <laughs> I have never seen a whale before. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Aw, thank you for the magical memories that your family and you brought to our studios. Hope to see you sailing again soon. Best regards from your photo team, the Disney Wonder Alaskan Cruise 2022. Oh my gosh. Look at this. If I can get it out. How awesome is this? It's the whole gang. 
I love this. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Chad, magical moments across the seas and over the years. May you always remember celebrating this magical moment with the cast and crew of Disney Cruise Line. Vasquez family, have a wonderful cruise. Chad, photo team. That is incredible. Chad, you are amazing. <laughs> We've loved talking to this crew member every single day. He is honestly our favorite photo pass photographer here on the Disney Wonder. This man needs a raise. But thank you so much. This was incredible. <laughs> I love it. Take a look at this sunset, guys. Our final Alaskan sunset. Ketchikan is somewhere over there off in the distance. But wow. I have no complaints. The weather on this trip has been absolutely phenomenal. And look at that, the sun is just coming out. Wow, I cannot see a damn thing right now. <laughs> I am blinded. I'm looking through my viewfinder, but holy moly. This weather has been absolutely phenomenal, guys. No complaints from me at all. Now take a look at that. Here comes our pilot boat, ready to take the pilot off the ship. The one navigating us out of Ketchikan. See if we can get a shot of him coming off the ship. Uh, handed him a backpack, and there he is. He is off the ship. Oh wait, don't. There's there. There's another one. Hey, there you go. All right, and there you go. <laughs> that was cool to see. So I made it back to the room not too long ago. I've been sitting out here with my binoculars trying to catch any wildlife. It's been absolutely insane how um, you'll see, you know, random fish jumping out of the water and that's really cool to see. Every once in a while, if you're lucky, you'll see a whale, you know, come out of the water a little bit and blow its air out of its air hole. And then the bald eagles, you see so many bald eagles, especially in Ketchikan. They were all over the place and it was so cool to be out on my balcony and to stare out at, with, with my binoculars and to look at these bald eagles just doing their thing. We saw one come in over the water and pick up a poor fish and it, it sniped the fish out of the water and carried it away and we're just like oh sucks to suck but it's so pretty <laughs> it was definitely a lot of fun but this is going to go ahead and be the end of today's video day six of our alaskan disney cruise the ending is almost here guys tomorrow is our very last day aboard the disney wonder we have a full day at sea tomorrow as we make our way back to vancouver canada and then eventually back home to sunny humid and hot Florida. Oh boy. I'm not looking forward to that. That temperature difference and that humidity is going to hit me like a ton of bricks as soon as I get off that plane. But we're not going to be thinking about that yet because tomorrow we still have a full day on board the Disney Wonder. A lot of activities tomorrow and then tomorrow we are also going to be experiencing light year. We were supposed to experience it earlier on in the trip but the following morning we had to uh, be up really early for our excursion so we decided to pass on light year. So tomorrow at 2 p.m. we are going to be experiencing light year in the Walt Disney Theater and I cannot wait to share my thoughts and opinions on that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw in today's video down in that comment section below. If you enjoyed any bit of this video, please make sure you leave a like on the video as it greatly helps out the channel against the YouTube algorithm and helps the videos get recognized and pushed out to a lot more people so that way the channel can continue to grow and grow and grow. Subscribe if you're new around here and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.